Hello, my name is Alan Muyal, and welcome to, to the Engineering Coffee Break. Today I'd like to talk to you about engineering software and work processes. Now when you buy engineering software from a software company, they will tell you about product A and its features, and product B and its list of features. And if you're lucky, those products will be integrated, so they will tell you how you can share data between product A and product B. Then you'll get a product demonstration, and if you buy the product, you will get training and all the manuals, and they will explain to you what features and functions are available, but they won't tell you really how to do your job, how to apply the software to your work processes. And furthermore, if we're talking about advanced software, how you may need to tweak your work processes in order to take advantage of the product features. So a much better method of explaining software capabilities is by looking at it from a work process point of view. Now, if we look at it this way, we have two different levels that we can look at. We can look at the business level, or what we call level one, and here we have roles accomplishing tasks in order to create deliverables. Now, this is the work process that you're already familiar with. You already know how to do electrical engineering or piping design. Nothing new there. But then what we do is we take the various tasks and the deliverables that you need to create, and we create a software level two work process where now these swim lanes represent products. So we had product A and product B here, but obviously you may have more than that. So now we have the products and we execute a series of steps in order to create a deliverable. So let's take an example. Let's take a look at an electrical engineer uh, designing a plant. So some of the tasks early on may be develop an electrical load list. And then after that, you need to develop one-line diagrams. So now we take each major task or deliverable and describe in this level two diagram how you use the various products in cooperation, in collaboration, in order to create your deliverable. So for instance, we could call this one develop load list. And in our example, product B may be our major product. It may be our electrical engineering product. And it's going to cooperate with other products. And we're going to go through a series of steps. And at the end, we have our load list. Now this is a high level diagram. It's not going to explain everything about how to operate the software, but it's the level two that gives you a high level view on how to apply the software, and as I mentioned earlier, how to possibly adjust your work processes in order to take advantage of the capabilities provided by the various products. Now you could even go one step further and create a level two diagram where now you can detail each step and describe push button, step-by-step, uh, step, how to operate the software. But these are the first two levels when we take a look at work processes. So hopefully you will agree that this is a much better way to get a feeling for the uh, software capabilities, especially since a picture is worth a thousand words, and this will give a common understanding for other people working on the project, whether you're talking about project manager, project engineer, the various designers and engineers, they can get a clear picture, A to Z, what the work process is for utilizing the software out of the box. Thank you for joining us today for the engineering coffee break.